Hey everyone, welcome back to the Still Night nice CNC. In today's video, we'll, we're kicking it off with a new exciting multi-part series where we'll be designing and building a combination welding table, a plasma cutter, and a milling table integrated with capabilities. This table will be a game changer for the workshop that needs flexibility and precision, and also has minimum space requirements. In this first part, we are starting with the CAD design in Fusion 360. I'll walk you through the designing of the entire frame, including the underbody support for the welding table, table legs, and the extension of 2.5 meter workspace. Right now is the side table braces or main table frame. It is out of 160 by 80 by 4 millimeters thick rectangular tubing and that's also what the interior consists of. Now you see that I designed the undercarriage part that the welding table will slide into and sit on with the support going across the bottom and attaching both ends. As the legs are being built, these are 80 by 80 millimeter, uh, four, uh, four millimeter thick walls. And you just see me add the linear rails to some flat bar on the side of the table that gives it the raise it needs to be for the ball screws I am using. Uh, make sure you guys are planning all that out. Also, with the table legs at the bottom, right now what we're doing is pretty much um, building that up to make, it, make sure it's sturdy because this is a heavy piece of machinery. Uh, you just seen me add 500 millimeters to the back end of this. Originally, the table was supposed to be two meters long, but then I did it. Uh, then I wanted 2.5 meters long, but they will be built out of single pieces. Now you see me put the ball screws on. The ball screws consist of H E H. Oh, sorry, S F U uh, 25s. Uh, I am designing the Y axis upper arms right now that's connected to the x-axis upper gantry and these are separated by two parts and it's going to look just like that with flat bar going across because we need to have the raises uh, uh, the risers for that right at the bottom are the machine feet those are 80 millimeters um, in diameter uh, pure rubber and it helps with uh, dampening the vibrations. Up top, I'm designing the ball screws, which is also SFU uh, 2005s, and the linear rails are HH30. And I'm designing the Z plate right now. The back plate will be held um, fixed to the bearing blocks that are on the X gantry. And I'm just kind of jumping around in here and doing minor stuff. So uh, I'm adding. Um, as you can see inside the table, I dropped down the bars because I wanted to make the interior for plasma cutting. I added the motor, which is 100 millimeters in diameter, to the X gantry, sorry, to Z plate. And I also added a plasma cutter as well, an offset. So because my machine has multi axis, I can do that. You just see me add in the. Uh, table plate that's for when I plasma cut everything gets caught there I added the NEMA 34 stepper motors um, and motor pulleys and bracket mounts so this is what the table looks like overall I haven't added any of the uh, HDT belt pulley system just yet um, because I'm not too sure uh, what I want to use for that in the near future I will keep these slots open because I want to put lights underneath here for when I'm milling wood or milling um, metals uh, this machine will probably weigh close to maybe 800 kilos 5 to 800 kilos because a welding table alone is about 400 all this steel is 4 millimeters thick so uh, it's going to be a heavy beast, but you need a heavy beast that doesn't rock away. And um, I'll be working on the uh, welding table here. And uh, this will actually drop down a little bit further because I have to add some rails in here. 
so this is still in the making and still as I'm going uh, everything will be mm, control cabinets will be up here plasma cutter will probably be somewhere on my wall because this will be sitting against the wall because uh, I don't want to it's a pilot ignition it shouldn't have any interference with any of the electronics but still keep high voltage sources away from low voltage sources so I'm going to be putting on one side the computer and control board and on the other side will be the high power side for everything else. And on this side here or in between the tables here, I might build a um, like a shelving unit to put my extra steel pieces like maybe through here, uh, you know, to keep the shop in order because I, I have minimum space at the moment and um gotta maximize every little nook and cranny that you can but uh, i just want to let you guys know uh that this project will be going on here very 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 soon within the next three to four weeks and um yeah so if you guys had if you guys like this design if you would change this design let me know in the comments below what you would do to change something or add something to this or if you have any ideas of what kind of rail system I can use to pull out the uh, welding table from underneath because eventually if I do go into welding I don't want it always attached to the CNC machine I want to be able to completely remove it and when I don't need it I just slide it right back in and pretty much this is the Steel Knight version 2 and I would like to say thanks for watching the Steel Knight CNC. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this design, and I'll catch you on the next one. If you haven't yet, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this content. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And check the description um, for more information. Alright guys, until next time, catch you then.